How you doing guys, this is Richie. And it's been a while since I've done a video, probably a couple months. So I decided to pull out 50 or so of my favorite books, do a top 50 since I haven't done one in three or four years. A lot of books, so I think it's a little more than 50, but give or take. So we'll start off with Tales of Suspense 84. 1966. This is the issue where the adaptoid turns into the super adaptoid. It's 9 4 with off white to white pages. All right, next we have Amazing Spider Man 49. 1967. 9 4 with off white to white pages. It's a John Romita cover. Nice early Spidey. All right. Chamber of Chills 22. This is 1954. This is a Harvey title. Great horror cover. Classic. 7 0. Off with cream to off white pages. Everything's out of order, so I'll surprise you every single time. 9-4, White Pages is fantastic, 486, Jack Kirby, great Doctor Doom cover, nice white copy, very pretty. All right, Avengers 62, this is 1969. It's a John Buscema cover. This is the first appearance of the Man Ape. It's a 9 2 off white to white pages. Cool Black Panther cover. Going way back. Blue Beetle number five. This is 1941. Nice red color strike. Man, that is the nicest 3 5 I've ever seen. I got a check the graders notes on this I mean it's a beauty it doesn't say who the cover artist is I'll have to check that great looking copy Captain Midnight 42 this is from the promise collection another one I forget who the cover artist was but great purple cover with the Yellow Moon, Captain Midnight's kind of an obscure character, but there's some really cool covers in the run. It's a Promise Collection book at 8.5 with off-white pages. I don't need to tell everybody the story of the Promise Collection. Great pickup this year, or last year, rather. Tales to Astonish 90. This is 1967, Jack Kirby, 9.4 with off white to white pages. This is the first appearance of the Abomination. All right, Avengers 55, 1968. The John Basima cover. This is the first appearance of Ultron. It's a 9 4 with white pages. Very happy to have that one. All right, here's one from, I think I was like 20 or 21 when this came out. This is Max Immortal 1. I remember buying this off the stands. This is, and it blew me away because this is a crazy story. This is Rick Veach, Max Immortal, number one. It's a 9.8 with white pages. Only two 9.8s exist right now on the census. I got one of them. If I ever see the other one pop up, I'll snatch it up. Very cool story. Great art. Rick Veach is a fantastic cartoonist. Here's Tales of Suspense 82. It's a 9-4 with off-white to white pages. This is the first appearance of the Adaptoid. Okay. 
Incredible Hulk, 111. This is 1969. First appearance of the Galaxy Master. This is a Herb Trump cover. He dies in the next issue. Spoiler. Now, I remember buying this off the racks when I was 10. This is Daredevil 188. This came out in 1982. It's a 9.8 with white pages. Frank Miller cover. Great looking cover. It's also the first appearance of Stone, Claw, and Shaft. Those three ninja guys. Here's a book. 1969. Doctor Strange 177. This is a Gene Colan cover? Yeah. This is the first appearance of his second costume with a mask. Not an easy book to find. And the only thing with this is it's a little off center, if you could see. But it's still a cool book to have in this grade. They don't pop up often in 9.4, and if they do, they're very expensive. Maybe someday I'll get a decent one. All right, we're going back to the golden age. Chamber of Chills, 14. This is Harvey Publications. This is 1952. It's a 7.5 with off-white, two white pages. Lee Elias cover. Fantastic series. Expensive books. Not many on the census. All right, let's show a raw or a couple of raws. This is Mighty Avengers 69. I think this is the first appearance of the Grandmaster. I forget. It's a great Sal Basima cover. I believe it's Sal Basima or John. I think it's Sal. Beautiful high grade raw book. 9294 all the way. Here's a Black Knight number one. This is an Eric Powell variant. It might be a one in 50. I forget, man. It's been so long. Cool looking variant. Here's X-Men 112. Great George Perez cover. Must be what, 78? I think this came out in. Yeah, 78. Hmm. Oh, here's a beautiful book. I was so happy to find this years ago. Probably four or five years ago I found this. Very high grade. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 124. First appearance of the Man-Wolf. This is a John Romita cover. I believe it's a 9.6. Possibly a 9.8 candidate, but probably not. X-Men 221, another beauty, high, super high grade, near mint plus, possible 9-8 candidate. First appearance of Mr. Sinister. This book gets hot, gets cold, gets hot, gets hot, cold. If he ever shows up in a movie, this will blow up. Pick these up while they're still affordable. Mr. Redondo, I believe, is Swamp Thing number 16. Amazing cover. I, I bought this from Reese's Rare Comics at a convention a few years back. Great. Those those guys are great. I like their grading is on point. This was listed as a 9.6. They had it listed, and uh, I believe it. It's a beautiful book. Love the DC Horror House of Secrets. This is number 121, probably 1972. All right, let's go back to some slabs. EC, Frontline Combat 11. 
This is an 8.5 off white to white pages. This is from 1953. Um, what's his name? Jack Davis cover. The fantastic artist. Did a ton of work. Prolific. All right, let's move some stuff around. Back to the Silver Age. This is Daredevil 15, 1966. Old one. This is a John Romita cover. Death of the Ox. Didn't stay dead for long. Great looking cover. 9-4 off white to white pages. Web of Mystery 27. This is 1954. Nice deep red on that. It's a 6.5 cream to off white pages. Beautiful, beautiful. Pre code R. Here's a book I picked up because I just love the cover. And this was a great run. This is Gil Kane with Tom Palmer inking him. What a team they were. I'm going to crack this out of the slab eventually. I keep forgetting. I should have did it a long time ago, but it's a very nice book. Nine six off white to white pages. Two and Dracula number nine. Twenty cent cover. Great era. Avengers twenty three. This is a nine two off white to white pages. It's from nineteen sixty five. This book got hot. John Romita cover. No, Jack Kirby with John Romita inking, I think. Was it? Yep, Jack Kirby and Romita. Here's a Gene Colan. This is uh, Tales of Suspense, 1967. This is a 9-4 off-white to white pages. Another fantastic series. Oh, wow, fantastic. We got Fantastic Four, number 64. First appearance of the century. First mention of the Kree, I believe. It's a 9-6, white pages, Jack Kirby cover. Incredible Hulk, 119, Herb Trimp. 9-4, off white to white pages. One of his better covers. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man, 73, 1969. This is a John Romita cover, first appearance of Silvermane and Mad Mountain Marco. Beautiful white copy. Back to Kirby, Thor 171, 1969. White pages, great wrecker cover. 9-4. Some more Kirby. Here's Tales of Suspense 80. 1966. Fantastic copy. 9-6 with white pages. Beautiful example of Jack Kirby at his finest. This was... It says classic Red Skull cover, Cosmic Cube Saga Begins. All right, I'm going to go back to Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 37, 1966. This is the first appearance of Norman Osborn, who later becomes the Green Goblin. And Robot Master Mendel Strom. Nice robot cover, that's a Steve Ditko cover. All right, Maria Severin, Submariner 9, 1969. First appearance of the Serpent Crown, I believe. White Pages, 9-4. Captain Marvel, number 3, 1968, Gene Colan. Great looking green cover. Beautiful example of a Silver Age book. It's got white pages also. 
Here's a great Salba Seema cover. This is Avengers 89, 1971. Fantastic red, very pretty cover. In great shape, white pages. You know, I try to buy the book, not the grade, because all grades aren't created equal, and we all know what's been happening at CGC lately, so I went over all my books with like a magnifying glass. Captain America 101, this is a 9-2 with white pages, CBCS, Jack Kirby cover, Sleeper. Loved the cartoon when I was a kid. You know, that old Marvel cartoons where it was like the, 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 the characters barely moved. Amazing Spider-Man, 67. This is 9-2 with white pages. First appearance of Randy Robertson. John Romita. Strange Suspense Stories, 22. This is 1954. This is a Steve Ditko cover. It is an 8.5 8 cream to off-white pages. You don't see this one come around too often in this high of a grade. All right, Doctor Strange number one. Here's a Frank Bruner pencil sketch. Love Frank Bruner, fantastic artist. So happy to have this in my collection. Look at that. All right, rest in peace, Bernie Wrightson. This is House of Mystery 221. 9-6 with white pages, really nicely centered. I think so. It's a little off, but man, usually you see them and they're crooked. It's very hard to find this one like this. There's one on eBay now, I think, for like 500 bucks, but it looks like shit compared to this. All right, Fantastic Four, 62. This is 1967. It's a 9-4 with off-white to white pages. First appearance of Blastar. Jack Kirby. Man, this is taking longer than I expected. Couple Raws. How about the Witching Hour? Forget who the artist is. And here's a variant that I like. This is a second print Venom first host. Mark Bagley cover, beautiful copies, both high grade. Daredevil 18, first origin and first appearance of the Gladiator. Off white to white pages, 9 to 1966. Now for my collection, I, I try to not concentrate on bulk. I try to concentrate on high grades, keeps the collection small. I don't have a lot of space because my instinct was always buy, 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 buy everything. But now I only, I focus only on high grade, keeps the amount of books down to a minimum because, I mean, everything is so expensive now. I don't have to tell you guys. Tales of Suspense, 94, 1967. This is a 9.2 with white pages. First appearance of Modoc. All right, Tales of Suspense 89. Just a beautiful white pager, 9.4 Gene Colon. Here's a cool book. I'm not really big on signatures, but. Dr. The Strange Tales, 165. It's a Stranko signature. He always has a nice signature. Now you know, off white to white pages. Cool to have. Going back to the Golden Age. Chamber of Chills, 13. This is a 7.5 cream to off white pages. No, this is an Al Avison cover. Nice looking copy. There was an 8.5 on, somebody snatched it up right away that I was going to buy it and just had to try to sell my undercopy, but 
I snoozed and then I lost. Blue Beetle, 36. This is 1945. This is a 5.0 with off-white pages. How about Schomburg? You guys like Alex Schomburg? Here's Thrilling Comics, 71, 1949. It's one of his airbrush covers. It's a 7.5 with off-white to white pages. Doctor Strange, 174, 1968. 9-6 with off-white to white pages. First appearance of Satanish, I believe. Man, I still got a whole nother stack. House of Mystery, 217, 1973. 9-6, off-white to white pages. Bernie Wrightson, rest in peace. Captain America 110, 1969. 9-2 off white to white pages. Sorenko. I'd like to get a 9-6 in this one day. Amazing Spider-Man 53. This is 1967. Amazing Spider-Man. 9-2 off white to white pages. Number 53. I think that's um, that's it. A couple of rolls. I think we're done. Here's another Jack Kirby. There's a Jim Starling cover I love. Jim Aparo. Arthur Adams. And that's all she wrote. It's a long one. I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment. Give me a shout. I'm always around. Thank you very much.